Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast and the problem reads and determine the resultant force and specify where it acts on the beam measured from A. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics a textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Hibela. So we have uh, a load, okay, which is being governed by the function W equal to 2.5 uh, X cubed. And we are being asked to determine the resultant force and specify its location measured from A. All right. So for this particular problem, let's assume directly here. We just assume, let's say, our resultant is going to be somewhere like that. Okay. And this resultant is equal to FR. And this location is also there, which we are just going to write as D, like so. Okay. All right. So since this function, this loading, this distributed loading, it's been governed by this function. We need to sum up or add up, sum up this area under this curve using principles of, uh, you know, calculus, which is integration, and also work out the moment uh, so that we find the location of FR. So we'll do the same thing like we've done in the past. So let's write down the equation. So we are saying FR times D is going to be equal to the summation of moments about point A. Okay. Right. So what is FR? FR is going to be equal to FR is going to be equal to. So because we have this a loading that is being governed by this particular function we need to find the area using integration so we'll say integral uh, integrating from 0 a from 0 to 4 okay of this function w dx where is all this coming from so what we've done is we've just picked a small small strip think of this as picking a very small strip okay of thickness or thickness dx and then what we did now is so with this particular function i mean with this particular small strip we are able to compute the small area for this particular part which we can integrate from zero to four or the whole length so that small area we are going to call it is our small da this small da from this small strip is going to be equal to w dx so we are saying this fr this 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 what we are doing basically here what we are doing is what we are doing is we are saying let's now integrate this small da over the given span so that we find the whole area which is equal to the equivalent force so this is as good as 0 to 4 da this is what we're doing all right and this da we've already defined it it is w dx which is equal to 0 to 4 w is 2.5 x cubed dx right and if we integrated that if we integrated that we know how to do it already this becomes if we integrated that this becomes 2.5 okay x to the power 4 divided by 4 okay and we are evaluating this from 0 to 4 this therefore gives us uh, 
by 4 to the power 4 and divided by 4. So this gives us 160 um, neutrons. Okay. 160 newtons. Okay. Newtons and the load is facing down like that. Okay. 2.5 divided by 4 times 4 to the power 4. So there we go, we found FRM. We'll do the same also to find the moment. We know that the moment also, this moment, summation of moment will also just be equal to integral. Integral, okay, times the lever arm, and the lever arm is along the x direction. We'll say x, and we'll say the a. Okay, so this is our moment. All right. So we are saying summation of moments about point A and clockwise being our reference is just going to be equal to integral from 0 to 4 x dA and this is equal to 0 to 4 um, x our dA we already know what it is it's just 2.5 x cubed dx okay which is just equal to 0 to 4 uh, 2.5 x to the power 4 dx and finally integrating this we'll find that this is going to be equal to uh, 2.5 divided by 5 x to the power 5 and we are evaluating this from 0 to 4 and this is going to be equal to 2.5 divided by 5 times 4 to the power 5 so find the 4 512 newton meters and uh, the moment is clockwise which is negative right so let's import this equation. Let's import this equation. We import this equation there like so. If we do so, again, we need to be mindful of the direction of the left hand side and the right hand side. And we found that the summation of moments about point A itself is negative. Therefore, we have a negative this side. FR, we say this 160 times D, which is just equal to a minus also 504 therefore d is just going to be equal to 54 divided by 116 this gives us a 3.2 meters all right so we have d equal to 3.2 meters and we have the result at itself which is equal to 100 and 60 newtons so we can draw it like we've done in the past for the previous cases we have the beam like so we have the beam like that and um, we have a there and um, uh, we have there we go. Let me indicate it somewhere here. All right, something like that. Um, what is this? This is FR, which is equal to, we say this is equal to 160 newtons. And then we have. Uh, there we go our d our d we found d as equal to uh, d is equal to uh, 3 point 3.2 meters and the whole dimension of our beam 
the whole dimension of our beam let's indicate it is equal to is equal to uh, four meters i guess we are done but i guess we are done and i hope uh, the video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and i'll see you in my next uh, screencast